Hey Connor. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to autism vlog number 18. Oh. You're showing everyone your uh, Zelda stuff there? Yay. Oh, that's great. Yay. Hey, hey Connor. Is that your sword? What's so it? we wanted to do a status update of the kids. Yay. We know we haven't talked to you guys in a while and there's a reason for that. Um, <laughs> not only has it been, you know, the holidays and Christmas and New Year's and everything. Happy New Year's by the way, if you're watching this on New Year's or around it. Um, basically, it's going to get really busy these next couple of months, both January and February. Um, I have a lot of work to do. We have a conference coming up, so you probably won't see a whole lot of videos. Usually we do them every week to week and a half, and that's probably not going to happen. Hold on just one second. Sword. Is that your sword, Alistair? It's Alistair's sword. That's Alistair's sword? Good job speaking. So we just wanted to do kind of a progress update so you guys know how the boys are doing. Uh, Ian has received his IEP for this year. Brittany, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Where'd Brittany go? I'm right here. How long do you think? How long do you think? All right, hold on. <laughs> just, you're just going to have to talk loud. That's all there is to it. IEP, but it was also a three-year um, checkup to see if he's still qualified for small group autism. And of course he does. It was um, weird though because we found out, I guess, his IQ, which is something like Yeah, they're still doing IQ tests. Imagine that. I know. And I'm like, how accurate is that? Kids are like super distracted. But whatever. It's somewhere in the 70s. And so that was a little like, ugh. But, um, you know, we don't judge kids purely by their IQ. They have plenty of other traits that make them uh, valuable members of society. Anyway, so, yep, yeah, still autistic, still in small group autism, still got good goals for next year. He's doing great in reading, though, which I'm going to attribute to video games and reading with him personally. But yeah. Probably mostly video games as a yep. motivating uh, Zelda. <laughs> Zelda. He has to read in order to pass. That's what we love about Zelda games. He has to read them. He has to read and, yeah. Connor, can you, do you mind for a second? Saved our bacon. In the Christmas vacation. <laughs> yeah. So hold, hold on just one sec. Again. Okay, guys, we have to kind of start and stop because, uh, well, we're distracted. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Um, oh, anyway, so we talked about reading, right? Yeah, Ian's reading. Yeah. So we're going to talk about Connor now? Yeah, Connor is acing it in his classes. He's doing real well. <laughs> He's um, actually keeping up his class as far as reading and math goes, which is awesome. Yeah, and you were saying that when he's away from school for a while, he starts to di digress a little bit. Big time. As far as behaviors go, um, I've noticed that when he's not around other more typical kiddos, he tends to do a lot more of the the more undesirable sting behaviors, like um, speaking in gobbledygook tongues, as we call it. Um, just bouncing literally off the wall, so I'm just turning in circles, flapping his hands like nuts, making weird noises. Yeah, it's funny because um, that's what he does um, when he has his own kind of time, you know, and, and ability to, you know, be stressed. That's what he just gravitates to. It's uh -huh. interesting because when he goes to school, he doesn't really do that as much. You know? Right. He's more. Um, he echoes kind of what's around him, and so I think that's kind of interesting. Connor. Because Ian has learned to cope in other ways too, but Connor's much more malleable, it seems, mm -hmm. to surround me. So it'll be interesting to see how things turn out this next year. Yeah. Hey, why don't you why don't you tell people how you're doing? Here, come stand um, here. How's school? Good. Yeah. I'm learning about ornaments. Oh, I got ornaments? ornaments. Well, here, you talk to me. I I made an ornament with snowman's on it with paint. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's very good. And then it broke. I sit on it. Oh, that's a bummer. Any accidents happen, huh? Yep. Is that it? Is that all you want to say? Yeah. People haven't talked to you in a while. You or seen you, some rather. Dance moves? Do you want to show off some dance moves? Yeah. Connor okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty fantastic. Nice dance moves, buddy. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what was that? Jackson. Was that little Michael Jackson going on there? Yeah. <laughs> kind, of, oh, oh, kind of a mix mash of everything. Uh, we should edit that out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on this thing all the time. Oh. What do you uh, think, Connor? 
Maybe we should say how um, you're doing, huh? Yes, how are you the doing? Autism maybe, caretakers. Maybe, uh, we're surviving. Like, maybe like um, this normal morning and I got a little bit grumpy like, because Ian goes up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ian goes upstairs and he starts humming really loudly as he's playing Zelda on the uh -huh. TV upstairs. I'm trying to sleep. Um, Brittany and I trade off sleep in days. So it was my turn to sleep in. Um, when, and when we say sleep in, we mean like usually one more hour than we usually sleep in. So Sometimes it's better than that, but yeah, it depends. Sometimes. But it didn't go very well this morning. So, uh, yeah, I got a little grumpy and Hi. said basically uh, I'm getting a little frustrated. <laughs> and please don't judge me by this. I'm sure you've all felt this way sometimes as autism caretakers, but sometimes I felt like I'm running a, a mental institution. And... <laughs> I don't know what else to say that. It just gets really, really hard sometimes. They're, oh they're fine now, it looks great, but yeah. other times it's the screaming and the fighting and feels like we need padded cells and mm -hmm. you know we've reversed the locks on their bedroom because it gets so bad sometimes. Um, there's holes in their door. Maybe we should go up and show them the holes sure. in their door. Sure, yep. All right, just cut real quick. So we're gonna make our way up to Ian's room, but this is just an example. They jump on the back of the couch, it's tearing. Yeah. Our uh, that other couch that we paid for. Too, but it's not yeah. typical when they go through like what? What is it now? Three Ooh, couches, bright. four beds. Here, okay. So let's see this door. Maybe some of you guys have seen this before. This is what I mean when I say mental institution. I'm not trying to be rude, but kick it. Yeah, in some cases we literally do need like a padded cell, and this is what's going on with their door. You can see it's big old, just kind of coming apart. Yeah, it's coming apart right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh no. So some days are tough. Um, I don't want to focus on the negative though. Because yep. like right now, it's good. It's good. He says that now, but this morning. Yeah, this morning I was pretty grumpy about it. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, he was just humming and bouncing. And our room is right there. These aren't soundproof walls, by the way. Not even close. Twilight Princess is your favorite, huh? Hi. Thanks, Connor. All right. So, how are you doing? I'm tired. Yeah. I'm just tired. It's like Rob said. It gets it, it wears on you after a while. Not that we don't love them, or they're not, you know awesome or that watching them for like an hour or two is, is super difficult mm -hmm. but it depends on which two hours you're talking about it's just like we took a family vacation for instance right we went to um to lake tahoe with rob's dad and and it was hard i mean family vacations are work yeah yeah like you're taking care of everyone making sure they're all happy we had great memories we went sledding you know hiking and you know they played at the arcades and it was fun but I'm tired, and I'm really excited <laughs> for them to start school. <laughs> yes, we love our kids, but it's good to have a break. And thankfully, we've had a very good family friend who's helped out babysitting the kids. That's been a real blessing. Um, Brittany's mom has been really helpful watching the kids. So it's nice to have help, and we appreciate everyone who does help. And yeah, we're, we're just keeping it real. We, we said some things. We don't want to hurt any feelings or anything like that, but the reason why kind of keep these things real is just because other people deal with this stuff too and we hope it helps you guys especially autism caretakers and those dealing with autism that you are still very much loved but um there are definitely trials there's no mistaking that are you, cho are you chopping the ball there Kar karate chop oh we see how alistair's doing how's alistair doing he's not talking like he should I was kind of blindsided by this the other day. We were um, at our church, you know, talking to another parent, and their little boy was just chattering, chat, 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 chat like 50 words a minute, speaking in full sentences. Everyone, I like to go to the office. I know they have candy in there. I'm like, how old is he? And they're like, he's just turned three. And I'm like, yeah, and Alistair's gonna turn three in one, one month. Well, 
little yeah. over a month. And so now watch this. A month like, and ten you? days. Yeah. Now watch you know, this. you never realize just how okay, now watch stark this. the differences are until you're presented by a side by side comparison. I know everyone likes to say boys watch talk this. later than girls and oh he'll get over it. I'm like, but this is like every time. Yeah. Like and we've seen him around a ton of little kids. We have a lot of nieces and nephews and cousins. And yeah. Or he's repeating what his older brothers are doing, which I've heard a lot too, and I'm like that's possible. Well, that's a a tiny part of it. Ways. Yeah. He um he bites. He um he does the whole sleep water thing, it drives me bananas, can I just say. He spits water everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a stupid thing, right? Banana chips! He, um, he sucks it up and then spits it out. And then he yeah, again and again and again and again and again. Yeah, yeah. again and again. It makes Banana all these messes. But um, the other brother, his other brothers didn't do that. Yeah, they're all different in their own way. They're all different. So, I'm really looking banana, forward to getting banana, tested banana, next year. Banana, like, so yeah. A couple of waiting banana, lists. Like, hey Connor, I don't yeah. think people are going to be able to hear do you mind being quiet for a little bit, please? Mm -hmm. Thanks, buddy. Anyway, we're on a couple of waiting lists, and I guess we'll find out soon. And um, once he turns three or four, we'll get him tested through the school district and see if yeah. he qualifies for, you know, the, um, the special ed preschool. Yeah. Which really helped Ian and Connor a lot. And uh, I guess we'll take it from there. I mean... Yeah, he's regressed a little bit, too. He was saying more words. Now he's not saying as much. He's just... Yeah, I don't know if it's being around his brothers more often or... Like we noticed on the vacation, he was really like, stay away from me, dad. Yeah, he wouldn't Which, get near me. He was very, and now we got back to the house and he totally is cuddly with me. And this is a safe zone, you know, he's yeah. comfy here. He spends most of his life here. But I want to get him out. Like I want them to get into activities. I want them to do like special needs swimming or you know, sports or something fun. It's just that- We've been doing some more basketball. That's been good. They're just so dang competitive and they have, um, I'm almost afraid to, you know? Yeah, Scouts has been really hard. We've been trying to integrate them into Scouts, but they get so competitive, and they just cry and scream and say, yeah. no, I'm in first place, I'm in first place, even if they lose, and yeah, but it's, it's really hard for the other Scouts. Yeah, and Connor is so skilled in art, and you know, he loves dancing, as you saw, and yeah. there's things I want to do with him, but it's just that little, like, like, not only do we not have, like, a whole lot of, like, expendable income to do it, but they might not even get along with the other kids. Unless it's like specifically a special needs class. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so we better wrap up now. Yep, yep. It's got to be too long. You want to say bye bye, Connor? Bye bye. <laughs> <All right. laughs> anyway. <laughs> Have a great school year. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We'll see you guys uh, hopefully in a month or two. Yeah. We'll see what's happening. We do. We do have a couple of videos in the can waiting to be edited. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, did very good. Very good. Are you talk in your demon bye -bye. voice for us? Bye bye. What's this? Now what's this? Bye bye, smile. Can you I? Growl. Go. Growl. Ah. Dad, look, watch this. My sword. Ooh. My sword. Okay, very good. All right, All right bye everybody. Thanks bye -bye. for watching. Bye -bye.